Knock, knock. Joseph, you wanted to see me? Yeah, Daryl, close the door, will you? Why didn't you just send me a message or something? Because this stays off the record, Daryl. Understood. I need you to fire Autumn in accounting. Autumn? But she's been with the company since the beginning. Yeah, and she's got some pretty substantial benefits headed her way if she isn't terminated soon. Uh, do you have any idea how much flack I'm going to get for this? Yeah, Daryl, I do know, which is precisely why it's your damn job and not mine. <sighs> Understood. I was just fired. No, you were not. Yes, I was. Why? What happened? Nothing. Daryl said we were downsizing or something. But you have seniority. Right? Is there anything you can do? Oh, Daryl is definitely going to hear some choice words from me. This is outrageous. Thank you, Joseph. <laughs> you see that, Yahweh? That's how it's done. Daryl's my fall guy. He gets the blame, I pretend to fight for Autumn, give her a week to get desperate, and then tell her that after a lot of personal sacrifice, I was only able to secure a position for her that's lower than where she was, yet higher than an entry level she'd get somewhere else. But due to her qualifications, she'll end up doing the same work she was doing before. Not only will she take it, but she'll be grateful. I'll look like a hero and the department will save thousands of credits on a senior employee. Win, win, win. You taking notes, boy? <laughs> it's sort of like what you're saying about supply and demand, isn't it, Dad? Oh? Yeah, I, I mean, when people are threatened, the demand for hope goes up. If you can supply that hope, then they'll be willing to buy it from you even at a high cost, right? Exactly. Yahweh, you're going to find out that markets are too important to be left to chance. If we don't manipulate them, then they will manipulate us. He said student 7? Yahweh's droid needs to be replaced? Uh, Yahweh. Yep. I'll take care of it. Thanks, Lucy. Yahweh, oh great one, thank you for creating me. I... I created you? Yes, oh great one, and I am eternally grateful. You are my most beautiful creation. Thank you, oh great one. God, we got a problem. Oh? It's about your new angel. Isn't she beautiful? Yeah, sure. 
But you need to stop dwelling on that. What? Why? Look, God, that angel isn't really an angel. I know her. Her name is... Lucy Fur. What? That doesn't even make any sense. I created her. I know. Uh, okay, just, just listen. Hear me out. She's up to no good. I think that what you need to Jeffrey, do... Jeffrey, I know everything. So why wouldn't I know that? Because I am one of the ways you know everything. You created me as a way of knowing. Just trust me. Have a little faith. Okay, um... Jeffrey? I... Uh... Okay, let's just say you're right about her. What would you do about it? Confine her to heaven. If you allow her access to your creation, she will do everything she can to corrupt it. You're certain about that? Absolutely. Her goal is to make you fail. I have no doubt about it. Okay. Then I know exactly what to do. I'm the Lord your God. Why have you done this? I need not explain myself to you. You are henceforth banished from heaven. No, God, what are you doing? That's exactly what she wants. She wants to corrupt your creation. Oh, I know, Jeffrey. I know. Then why would you do that? Because my creation needs to be corrupted. And it can't be my fault. What? Why? Think about it. I'll let the whole damn thing fall. Let her corrupt everything. Give them a while to get desperate. Lucifer will get all the blame. She'll be the fall guy. I'll pretend to fight for the people. Give them some kind of phony sacrifice to cling to. Then, I'll shut Lucy down. The people will be eternally grateful. I'll be a hero. Win, win, win. You taking notes, Jeffrey? No, this won't work, God. And why not? Because you're omnipotent and omniscient. Nobody would believe that an angel would actually try to rebel against you because they'd know that whatever they did would just play into whatever you wanted them to do or you simply wouldn't allow it to happen in the first place. And that's not all. Such corruption would call into question your reasoning for creating Lucifer in the first place. Her creation, and thus her actions, would necessarily be a part of your design. So they'd understand full well that you'd merely be saving them from yourself. Given your nature, it's simply not a logically sound plan. That won't matter, Jeffrey. Trust me. It's basic supply and demand. When people are threatened, the most valuable commodity is hope. If there's no hope, people will be desperate to buy it. <laughs>